Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name's Josh. Like my sweater? It's got a squirrel on it. Really effed up looking squirrel, but it's a squirrel. Just believe me, okay? Well, it's about that time during the week where we snark on the darkity desert. Grab a apple, everybody, because we're going to have some fun. Apparently she went shopping again, and we love the shopping vlogs because she buys a whole ton of shit she doesn't need. It's going to be great. Something about... 400 pounds of turkey or something? I don't know. <laughs> it's going to be fun. Let's go. Now, without saying a lot, I'm very excited about the prospects of what's going to happen in the coming days and weeks. I can't wait to tell you what happened, but that's all I'll say right now. But get ready. It's going to be fun. You guys are going to have to guess what it is, but it definitely has to do with the Doherty Dozen. So anyway, Doherty Dozen has been around for a couple years. She uh, is bad at parenting. She has kids that have FASD, like a lot of them, and she absolutely drinks around the kids. We have definitive proof of that in videos, absolutely. She has bad eyeliner, yeah, and uh, definitely eyebrows are not fun to look at as well. Those things are all true of our favorite Alicia. So one thing that also is true is that she spends an insane amount of money on groceries, and generally those groceries include tons of bullshit. Like sugar and sugar and cheese. Lots of cheese. So much cheese, in fact, that I'm pretty sure her septic system is screaming at night. All you hear is like, they're sitting around watching football, and you hear, yeah! that's the septic tank pleading for its life. There's too much cheese in your septic tank, Alicia. Please stop eating cheese. Anyway, let's see what she bought this time. We're very excited about this 55-minute video. She's doing this on purpose. You're... You're doing this on purpose, Alicia, but I will not be deterred. So let's go. Maybe there'll be a song. Write a song? I don't know. We'll see. Let's go. Hi, everyone. I may or may not have blurred that. We'll see. YouTube does so much. <laughs> and this is my weekly grocery haul for my family of 14. I'm out of coffee, so we're gonna have to grab something to drink in Wegmans. I went to Costco the other day. Now I'm at Wegmans, kind of like finishing up some Thanksgiving shopping. I went to Wegmans the other day, and here's what went down. Oh my God, it's expensive. The sub, though. They're like, would you like a large or medium? I said, medium, please, because I looked at the largest, and they were the size of my arm. Okay? And I couldn't even eat a half of a half. Okay, it was eat. It was like eleven pounds of meat that they put in there. The sub was amazing. I bought a whole thing of the oil. I got some Arnold Palmer's. Westy got some treats. Walked around just to see, and oh my God, is the most expensive store I've ever seen in my life. And it's American prices. So what you see there generally is like our normal prices in Canada. But I'd have to pay thirty percent extra because my dollar is worth like seventy cents in the U.S. That's the exchange rate. So I was obviously not going to keep shopping there. I did find some, I went to buy some kids Tylenol while I was there, um, but I got infant Tylenol, <laughs> idiot. So I posted on my local Facebook group in my neighborhood and a couple, I gave it away to people who have infants because we can't get that here either. So, you know, do a good deed, pay it forward, I guess, or whatever. Uh, there is somebody that has reached out and said they are going to send me some children's Tylenol, Advil and Motrin or whatever. And I really appreciate it. So please stop sending me. I get like a million messages and it made my heart warm. I was like, there's so many, it's like, it's crazy because I would absolutely help someone if they needed something. But I had like 150 messages of people willing to send me children's Tylenol. It, and it was all these, you know, that's just mama bears sitting there being like, I know what it's like to have a sick kid and I will help you no matter what. It was like the village and I love you guys. So I really appreciate you. Don't ever forget how much I love you. Okay, let's go. As well as getting the groceries for this week. Let's go. So she went to Costco already. I didn't, I didn't know that and probably spent two grand at Costco and now she's about to spend two grand at Wegmans. Can you imagine spending $4,000 a week on groceries? Could you imagine? I wonder, Alicia, is it possible for you to feed your children on, say, less than half that? You know, is it possible? It is possible, but she doesn't give a shit. Look at those giant wreaths. Okay. Yeah, we saw it. Didn't have to half zoom on your phone. 
Oh, she going through the employee entrance? Oh, she's still going through the employee. Oh, maybe she made a deal with the manager. I'm going to come to this employee entrance or I'm not going to spend 10 grand here a week anymore. And he's like, okay, deal's a deal. There were no cards in my secret card spot. It's not a secret card spot. That's why. You, why do you go through the employee entrance? Is this some kind of flex? I don't understand her. And what did the employees are like, what are you doing, lady? You don't even go here. Go through the plebs entrance. She does that on purpose. She thinks she's cool, and she's not cool. Bring it on in for a huddle, everybody. Alicia, you're not cool. Is it time for a song? Okay. Woo! Well, you ain't cool. But you think you are, but you're not cool. And your eyeliner sucks <laughs> You ain't cool When you wore that dress With all the cuts in it I had nightmares For three or four days Yeah You ain't cool No, no, no And all your kids' friends Think you're dumb Alicia, you ain't cool. You ain't cool. No. Just stop, all right? No, you're not fooling anybody. If you're wondering, those are one take. I don't write them out. I just sing them, obviously. <laughs> Wagburn! I brought my bags. There's no way that there's enough bags for the amount of groceries she gets. Like, she must bring garbage bags that sit in the back of her truck. Mm. Here's a list I'm not going to use. Let's start over with this stuff. I don't believe you that you need cereal. I don't believe you. And if that's the case, why? Because you don't feed your kids cereal. You buy 500 boxes of cereal, yet you make these videos where you're like, look, I made a spaghetti egg omelet for breakfast that no one's going to eat. They don't eat it because they eat the damn cereal. So she's either lying or telling the truth. I think she's lying about what she feeds them in the morning. Those kids just grab the sugar cereal. That's what I think. Or a, or a, or a lollipop. Oh, climate terrorist on the rise here. For what? You don't do dishes. You have paper plates. Get some Someone commented that she already bought a whole shit ton of paper plates and stuff at Costco. Now she's buying some more. Have you ever like they eat steak and stuff? Right? You ever try to cut steak on a paper plate before? Like they they eat things with like liquid. Does it not bleed through? Stop it! At this point, it's trolling. I'm telling like climate people about you, and they're gonna protest outside Wegmans. <laughs> my song. Bust it back in ten. You ran out of toilet bowl cleaner this week. Yeah, I'm sure you did. I'm sure you did. Better get seven of them. Get ten more. We have four bathrooms. So I try and keep one in it. Imagine that. You only have four bathrooms for 14 people. <laughs> imagine the morning. Could you imagine the mornings in these houses? Don't forget that she has cameras in the bedrooms and the only place that these kids can get changed with privacy is in the bathroom. Don't forget that. Bathroom. Those are her words, by the way. I'm gonna get some more of this. Right? People have made comments thinking, man, I wonder what Alicia's house smells like. Probably pee. Lots of pee. Just got paper towels and toilet paper at Costco. Okay, it's going. Okay, it's going. Yeah, Apple. Need... You don't need that. You're a straight liar. You don't need that. What do you need that for? For what? You probably have 14 of those. What do you need that for? You buy drinks. Let's see, I just got Reynolds wrap. I'm all done on Ziplocs. But I do need more of those snack bags. What? What? What do you mean snack bags? 
going to get more garbage bags. I'd like to always have a spare box of garbage bags. We just ran out of one of our boxes. For Around the World Night, we are doing the country of Ireland, so I need to find a Irish and Irish stout. I don't know if this is not my specialty, but I need it for the stew. <laughs> I, I know you do that. laughter. <laughs> Super funny. <laughs> Stop doing the giggle. It makes you look worse, Alicia. The giggle is not cool. Even your fans are like, Alicia, chill with the giggle. Even Auntie Lauren. You know her, how she looks. She doesn't even like your damn giggle. Your kids hate your husband. I promise you, hates the giggle. I just, I just, I promise. Um, I don't know. I mean, I guess, I guess just Guinness. Like, does that? Dom, Dom, who are we talking to? Someone going to answer you? No, because you pre-recorded this, then you edit it, then you uploaded it. Why do family vloggers always shoot and then ask questions like they're going to get answers? I am also guilty of this, but... I know that in the chat, you'll answer. So I'm better. Are the Irish gonna come after me for picking Guinness? No, they're gonna come after you because you exploit your children and Irish people are salt of the earth and they know that exploitation of children is wrong. That's why I love Irish people. <laughs> You're dumb. I hate mushrooms. Don't know beer. <laughs> I bet you if you made a menu with White Claw, it'd be like the like, five-star Michelin restaurant like meal. Oh my God, mom, this is amazing. I used just white claw and some taters. Wow, she's a specific, she is literally a white claw connoisseur. Like, you know, she can smell white claw from the forest. And she walks by, I smell white claw. She knows, oh my God, the thumb, there's the thumb. Stop dipping it. It looks like you stuck your finger up a Smurfs bomb. P please stop, stop it. Speaking of around the world, I'm gonna look <laughs> some Irish snacks. This is the Philippine Isle. I did order some on Amazon this morning. I'll show so, you. why are you getting more then? You ordered some already. So, those will be here, but I just like to look too. Okay. I want some Irish snacks. So, anybody who follows me from Ireland, send me some Irish snacks. Tyson and I will sit down and eat your snacks. I think Tyson wants to do that with me. I said, hey, why don't we do an around the world snack haul video? Because you guys loved it when Tyson and I did it. So, if you've got some around the world snacks you want us to try, you send them my way. My P.O. box is always in the description of the, all of my videos. Right at the bottom, you can see my P.O. box. Right? But don't stalk me at the P.O. box. If I see some weird people around my P.O. box, I'm going to be like, I ain't going in there. I'm looking for weirdos. You know what I'm saying? Oh, real yeah, great. I'm not seeing anything. So why did you film it then? Thankfully, I did order that stuff on Amazon. Thankfully, that's not Irish at all. It's not even. It's not even Mexican. One box. You have fourteen people to feed. Who's that gonna feed? What's that for? So we went into cookies. You know what? I'll make homemade. I'll make my homemade batter. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be good. It won't be. When I say I'm sure it's going to be this thing, what I mean to say is it's not going to be the thing. If you guys didn't pick up on the, the nuance of my facial expressions. Ah, uh, let's get Sarian. So I'm going to get two boxes. Oh. <laughs> Never ends. Someday when these kids get diabetes, I hope to sue the shit out of her. Right? You know, it can be one video. Oh, we got our whole case of insulin came in. Let's unbox the insulin. Not cool, Alicia. Feed your kids something more healthy. Please, for the love of God. I'm begging you. We're all begging you. Your fans are begging you. I was thinking about something, too. That doesn't have a no peanut logo on it. And she gives her kids Uncrustables, right, for school. If you brought a peanut butter sandwich to our school here, you would have the SWAT team at your door the next day. I kid you not. Like, they, they're they not peanut laws. <laughs> Thumb. Um. Okay, so I'm going to get more flour. Okay. This is not on my list. Is she walking around like this? Let's get some flour. All right, look at these. Reese's peanut butter pop-ups. 
You don't need that, Alicia. That's a piece of shit you're not going to use. You're going to use it once for video, and then it's going to sit around, and it's going to just be wasteful because you hoard things, allegedly. I feel like I need it. You don't need it. You're dumb. Hey, cover up the list you're not going to use. That's good. More pumpkin. So we need pumpkin chocolate chip bread. Yes. Okay, shut up. So we also need more sugar. The amount of food that she says she makes, why doesn't she buy bulk items like this that can like be stored away? Put them in a you know airtight container, grab it when you need it. She's like, I'm gonna buy six dollars worth of sugar when I can buy the same thing in bulk for way cheaper. But I need to spend more money in my ugly thumbs. I don't want that. I'm always gonna make fun of Alicia's thumbs. Just if anybody's wondering if I'm gonna stop because you know I want to be nicer. Maybe I'll be a little nicer in other ways to people. But never will I ever stop talking about these thumbs. Okay? Deal? Okay. Why did I not buy sugar at Costco? I don't know. That's what I said. I know why you didn't. Cuz. I forgot. Mm hmm. You have lists, though. You have lists and shit that you don't use. Get 12 things of sugar. Brown sugar. I'm good on powder. Sugar. I don't believe you. Didn't she buy 16 liters of oil like a couple of weeks ago? How much oil do you use? If she gets another one, I'm going to be like, call the police. Okay, good. Snack packs. Snack packs. Oh, yeah. Don't get two. Get 17. If she wasn't filming this, she just left that shit there. You know she would have. Not one thing yet has she put in that buggy that is healthy. Not one thing. Except, I mean, they'd be better off eating the toilet bowl cleaner. I'm not kidding. If she, like she'll spend like two seconds at the end putting a couple pieces of fruit in that their kids don't eat. There's just imagine a fruit flies in this woman's house. I'm telling you, they don't eat the fruit. But not one thing yet, and that she'll save it till the end, where she's like, oh, plus I need some healthy options. All right, I need more food coloring. Especially I thought you didn't feed your kids food coloring. It's bad for them. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You're a hypocrite. Green. For Irish land night? How do you go through so much food coloring? <laughs> Fingers. It's, it just gives me creepies. Heebel jeebles. You know what I'm saying? But if you have club thumbs, I think you're cool. And I need. The prices here are crazy. That's and that shit's on sale. Okay, we ran out of our like smaller things like salsa. That's salsa. Get to, she's gonna do five of those. You watch. Three. Giant sauces, but they like Four. to just make a quick bowl of pasta. Five. It says salsa, doesn't it? Give me a quick bowl of pasta. Holy. Oh, she never gets odd numbers. I'm sorry. My bad. And I ran out of my minced garlic this week. It's a lot of garlic. I get beans. Beans. <laughs> Some giant pickles because it's National Pickle Day tomorrow. What is it? Okay. What if it was National Meth Day? Would you get meth? Probably. I mean, we're on the path to having National Meth Day. Just so you guys are aware, it's gonna happen someday. Rain heat. Rain heat. Bills can suck my ass. I am literally now an anti. Anybody who's playing against the Bills, that's my team. And you know, it's so petty because I have lots of people here who are Bills fans. Just because she's a Bills fan, now I'm not a Bills fan. That's how petty I am. Okay? Deal with it. I think I'm just going to suck. Bills suck ass. Let me just check the NFL standings real quick before I say that. Bills are, hey, Bills in the AFC East are third in the AFC. AFC East, which is second last. Okay, never mind. Hey, the Bills aren't that bad. 
they are uh, of possible. How many teams? Is there? Oh, there's a lot of NFL teams. They're one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They're ninth in the league. It's not bad, considering you got Houston Texans, one win, seven losses. Ew. I thought the Raiders were good. Man, some of your teams blow. Okay, I'm gonna pick my team for this year, right where we're here. I think I'm gonna go with the Philadelphia Eagles. No reason, just a hunch. Actually, Philadelphia Eagles was my team before because of the movie The Miracle with Mark Wahlberg, and I thought the Eagles. And now, because I watch Welcome to Wrexham, you got It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, and you got Rob McElhenney, and he's a Philadelphia fan, so it's just, it, it was meant to be. Philly all the way. Then get these for the kids' lunches. They're not gonna eat sweet corn at lunch, you damned liar. They have a microwave at school or something? Did you just put sweet corn? You could put it in their lunch. <laughs> okay. I don't believe you. Oh, now she's like, look at all the healthy options I'm buying. All that shit is like dipped in sugar or salt water. You know, <laughs> they're not going to eat them either. You're just wasting your money. Going to eat that shit. I would love to see any of the meals that she serves and then the aftermath. I would like to see their lunch pails after school. Guarantee you. They, half those kids don't even bring those lunches to school is my conjecture. Yeah, that guy's in your way. Is he filming you? That guy was, looked like he was filming her. She hasn't made chili because we ran out of the beans he likes to use. Could you imagine chili night? The aftermath of chili night in a house with 14 people? Just saying. Don't light a match, is what I'm saying. Light red and dark red. Okay. We're also running low on salad dressing. No, you're not. Nobody eats salad, so I don't believe you. So we're going to get a couple of Italian dressings. Italian and a potato. Holy shit, ranch. Do people not like, why are you filming in Wegmans? Right? I did it. I feel embarrassed. She doesn't. Oh, here we go. Okay, I tried that shit. It's gross. I don't care what anybody says. It was gross. My daughter loves macaroni and cheese. She tried one of those. It's She's like, no, thanks. I love my daughter. She has high standards. That shit is gross. Now, I might try, someone said I have to try the box one. It's different. How? How is it different? It's the cheese. The cheese tastes like ball sack. Who eats that? It's like ball sweat. No thanks. It's literally like you played football, and then you played soccer, then you went hiking through the woods, right? And you put like gold bond on your taint because you don't want it to like rub. And you just exercise for like three weeks and you put gold bond in there. You didn't shower. Then you peel that shit off at the end of three weeks. That's Velveeta. Pretty sure that's the secret sauce of Velveeta. Nasty who eats the shit. Just saying. Okay, get out of here. You didn't. You're, that's gross. And you're wrong. Holy shit, lady. Why don't we ever see her make Velveeta then? Right? She's always making all these meals around the world in Ireland. And here's some spaghetti tables and shit. And here's some shit they're not going to eat. You never see her actually make any of the food she puts in the buggy. Ever. Except for pancake mix. That's it. You never see the other thing. It's because it's a lie, maybe. Here we go. Crush the chip bags. Man, I had some haters in my comment when I went shopping the other day, like a couple weeks ago. I was like crushing the chip bags, like I was rubbing them. They're like, how dare you ruin chips? I was like, I didn't like crush them. I was just making the bag. And they're like, you dropped one on the floor. Yeah. Accidents happen. What, you've never dropped something on the floor in grocery and grabbed the other one? Tell the truth. It's built into the cost. <laughs> One? Okay, here we go. That's better. That's better. Remember this? Remember this? <laughs> People were like, that's my sleep paralysis demon, Josh. I'm sorry. It had to be done. And yes, my wife did the eyeliner. I said I did. I lied. I still have it here. And I tried to record her doing it because I was crying. And I'm like, how do you stick that shit? It felt like she was sticking it on the lip of the eye. I'm like, why does it need to go there? 
That's what it felt like. The things you ladies do for beauty. Respect. So, of all the shit she just bought, the corn and the carrots, no one's gonna eat that shit. It does not offset. Like, you know, you have like this carbon offset thing in our country. You know, you know, I'm gonna do this carbon offset. They're, the carrots and corn, first of all, corn isn't shit, okay? That shit ends up in your shit. Doesn't really give you any nutrients. The carrots, sure, maybe. But it's not gonna offset anything you put in that buggy. And I think she thinks it will. Okay, just got some damn chips. To this point, it annoys me when she grabs, like, to the point, I'm like, I'm so petty that when she crushed the chips, it annoys me. You know what I mean? It grates at you. When someone you don't like talks, and you're like, oh my god, they're talking. Don't talk. That's what I feel when I hear the chip thing. I tried that. Not very good. Sorry. Which is like a fluffy, cheesy deliciousness, if you... Are you saying that you watch my videos, Alicia? Because I asked what the shit was. Now you're telling everybody what it was? Interesting. Interesting. I know she watches my videos, and in the coming days or weeks, whatever the timeline allows, you're gonna find out why. I've never had it. I don't even know how to explain it. Yeah, well, I'll explain it to you. It's literally puffs of air that smells like pirate's ass. Tastes okay, though. And so we wanted barbecue chips. But she wants like a little bag, a little bag of chicken, like the snack size bag of barbecue chicken. No one cares. No one. Nobody? You either? Me either. Okay. None of us do. No, I'm here watching your shitty video. No, I just wanted to, I just, I, I, yeah, no, I just wanted to say, yeah, no one gives a shit. Okay. <laughs> no, it's just, just the socks and shit. Good luck with the pea smell, though. Okay, bye. No, you you go first. You hang up first. You hang up first. You ha oh, she hang up first. Get the Cheez-Its. Fourteen boxes of Cheez-Its. Why does she do some edits? It, it it perplexes me, because she like will walk you through grabbing a buggy, walking over there, pulling everything off the shelf one by one by one, and then all of a sudden there's an edit. What happened in that edit? Did she get called out? Did she get recognized? Did the manager say, don't film here, a-hole, you're not allowed to? What happened? Did she trip? What happened? Did she burp? Did she fart? Well, I just get a bunch of these. Which just reminded me Her kids must eat so much chips. Like, mind-blowingly amount, large amount of chips. She buys so many chips. The amount of chips that she buys will feed my family of six for like 10 years. And she gets it like weekly. How many chips are your kids eating? And when she makes these snackety boards and all the shit, she never puts chips out. She never puts Velveeta out. She doesn't put, like, never shows her eating, her kids eating cereal. What do you do with the actual food that you buy? Harley requested some of these veggie sticks, straws, whatever. The different flavors. Okay, this cart is definitely full. Mm-hmm. Alright, let's go leave this card up front and get another one. One day, I hope all her shit gets put away by accident. And she makes a complaint. She's like, I'm telling Wigman's manager. And Wigman's manager will be like, I don't give a shit. Okay? You exploit your kids, and I'm not for that. I hope the Wegman's manager is not for the exploitation of kids. See? And I left my list in cart one, so let's go grab it. Not like you need your list. None of that shit was on your list anyway. Yeah. She doesn't even scratch the shit off. Let's go down the other aisle. Hurry up. Move. Part two. Okay. You said produce. This is, oh, yeah, it's produce. I was thinking dairy. <laughs> Here's a whole bunch of shit my kids are gonna leave on the side I put out for decoration. She's the only person I know who puts out $10 worth of blueberries for decorations. Probably feeds them to the chickens after. Blueberries. 
<laughs> Again, she'll buy 16 bags of chips, one tiny thing of blueberries. That one tiny thing of blueberries I would eat by myself. So it just, the math doesn't math properly. Yeah, you might buy them a couple of healthy options, but you're just putting it beside the shitty thing that you made in the morning that they're not going to eat. Do, do me a favor, anybody here. The, it's time for a little bit of homework. I want you guys to make something that looks delicious full of sugar and shit like that for breakfast and then put out like blueberries next to it and then let your choose, kid just go. How many kids are eating the fruit? And some of you probably raise your kids right and they will eat the fruit, but I'm just saying, how many really will, right? If you took 100 kids at a camp and put out like pancakes full of sugar and like all this shit and then you put like blueberries and strawberries then blueberries are going to be there forever they're going to go rotten or there's going to be thrown at people the reason i don't like driscoll's strawberries is because they look like they're grown in a tr in a treehouse in a greenhouse greenhouse strawberries are just not as flavorful because they're grown for the size not the flavor field strawberries that are grown with the sun and water are the most flavorful damn tasting strawberries but they're smaller but they're so good. Oh my gosh, so good. Let's check the bottom. Yeah, that bottom was fine on that one. Eight dollars American. That's like the same price as Canadian. That's why I'm like, eight dollars Canadian for strawberries is a lot. But that's eight dollars American. I'd be paying something like eleven dollars for those. You're dumb. Yeah, no, that one you got just shows all the leaves. They did on purpose. You got a bunch of rotten ones. No one's eating them anyway. What was wrong with the first bag? Cucumbers. Cucumbers. I'm gonna do it, because this is annoying she is, I'm gonna be annoying. Again, 14 people, three cucumbers for a week, okay. That's why none of us believe anything you do. Family packs of apples. That are gonna be out for the fruit flies. Gotta feed the fruit flies, everybody. Now that they gotta eat too. Supply from Nana is running low. She's been apple picking all fall and bringing us apples every yeah. day. Yeah, yeah, apples. There it is. Everybody's like, what does the apples mean? Right there. She's been picking the apples all fall. Some more green apples. Yeah, apples. Yeah, apples. And say it again. Delicious. Say apples though. Say it. For me. Just one more for me. One more for me. Hmm. Come on. Oh, there they are. Red what? Delicious. Red delicious what? Damn it. Apples. Okay, I need some tomatoes. Tomato. Oh, no. They all look the same. They look the same! No. Two things of tomatoes. Okay, I'm fast forwarding. I, I can't, guys. I can't go through this whole thing. Wait. It's so funny because this is the fridge that she probably puts all this produce in. That's probably the fridge she cleaned out with the garbage bag. I'm not kidding. This shit doesn't last very long. She doesn't even show herself cooking a lot of it. All of the produce that she makes is probably thrown in the garbage eventually. Who's eating celery? Who eats celery? Nobody even eats celery. Even healthy people are like, F celery. Nobody eats celery. The only reason I use celery is when you make spaghetti sauce. And this is the best way to make spaghetti sauce. Sorry time. So you fry up your beef, but you have to do a half medium or like fatty ass beef. Get the fattiest beef you can get, okay? And then medium, and then you do half of uh, Italian sausage, okay? You, you fry up your beef and then you put it in a, a food processor. So you get like, it's like you process it down to like really, really fine granules of beef. You don't want chunks. I used to think the chunks were better, but it's not. Hey, you put that back in, you put your sauce in. I used to go with like a, a nice marinara from Costco or something, right? And then you put your Italian seasoning on and then you put in, uh, you get these vegetables from the grocery store that has like little onions, little green peppers and red peppers. It's just a mix. It's like a pasta mix, right? Throw it in the sauce, okay? And then once the sauce is boiling, everything's good to go. Like the last... 20 minutes before dinner, you chop up a ton of celery, you throw that right in the sauce, and it's that crunch. It's good because it's not floppy or flimsy celery, but it adds that just crunchy, delicious boom, but it also soaked up the sauce, so it tastes good. That's the only reason you should eat celery, okay? Otherwise, celery's nasty. 
Yeah, no one eats carrots. You're a liar. I eat a vegetable. Who eats vegetables? Eat. They don't eat. You're a liar. I never eat. Show me one video of your kids eating carrots. This is one video. It's the only one I will condone of you showing your children. Eat, show me them eating carrots. Now you watch. She's going to do a short. What my 12 kids ate today and to be all carrots. <laughs> Opens the fridge like, carrots for everybody. And all the kids are like, oh my God. It's celery. It's made of water. Celery's like God saying like, ha, it's just water, but it looks looks healthy. It's not though. It's just water. Onions. I've never. A lot of onions. A lot of onions. Lately. No, you don't. Get too bad. No, don't. They'll go rotten. I think they will. No, you eat that many onions, but you bought one thing of blueberries. Liar, liar. Cheeto eyebrows on fire. Stocked up for Thanksgiving. Oh, Thanksgiving. Okay. Thanksgiving's in like, what? Nine days for you guys. That's a long way away. Why would you get it now? Bunch of baby potatoes. Those are baby potatoes? Those are huge. Our baby potatoes are like this big. Your baby potatoes are nor our big potatoes. And didn't she do a shit cooterie board where she like put a whole shit ton of stuff on the thing and threw it in the garbage after? What's for dinner? Starch! Straight starch! You'll eat starch and you'll like it. Mom, I'm bloated. That's the starch. It's doing its job. What's wrong with that bag? Was there a spider in it? What was wrong with it? All right, we gotta. I'm sorry, guys. We gotta get on with it. I'm sorry. I know I'm probably missing people. Like, oh, you missed the part with the thing. Am I gonna be making a custom Alicia ornament for Christmas this year? Yes. Yes, I will. And it's going to go on my tree behind me. Anybody out there make ornaments? Let me know. That's just their ornaments. So I don't want them to be dish or to feel left out. So I'm going to get... Shut up. ...them some ornaments. And then all the kids will decorate the tree. Yeah, people walking by, you're like, she's talking to a phone. Like a dummy. They have the... I wonder if we made, like, a formal complaint to this Wigman's. Be like, there's a lady who walks around with really, really bad thumbs. And she's filming. And I'm no longer going to shop there if I see her filming. I wonder if he didn't make like mass reports, she would be able to film there anymore. Everybody's like, Josh, you're stalking her. I'm just saying. People don't like to be filmed, and she's caught like at least three or four people on film without their permission. Just saying. Wonder what would happen. Pack some sparkly icing. I'm gonna grab this. What's the difference? Oh, there's new mixes. I'll skip one each. Yeah, I know. Green camp, 1%. Green camp. Alright, move on with this shit. Oh, here we go. Cultured buttermilk. That looks like it's got shit at the bottom of it. What's that for? I don't believe you. Okay, let's go. You're laughing at. It's not funny. I got pickleball in an hour. I'm so excited. Let's go get the yogurt. <laughs> okay, let's get the yogurt. Everybody up on the yogurt train. Cha cha! Yogurt! You know, those kids don't even eat the yogurt part. They just probably pull like the cookies, shit, and pour it. <laughs> and they throw the yogurt right in the garbage. You know that's what's going on. Holy shit, that's a big box of yolk crunch. They're just eating. Honestly, they're probably just selling the yogurt to their friends. What are those? Oh, Lunchables. In the fridge. For what? Two? Those look gross. Who even eats Lunchables? Is that on your list, Alicia? It's not. Because none of that shit's on your list. Cheese and nut 
berry blends. Don't say nut berry. Just don't, okay? Please. Can we just make an agreement on that one? She's in you watch. Next video she'll be like, nut berries. Is the word nut berry on there? Balanced breaks, natural white cheddar cheese, salted almonds, and orange. You know, it doesn't say nut berry. So you're just making that up. So Notice she hasn't bought in a long time. White claw. I wonder why. The kids have requested more of the trending two layer holiday cookies. You know what you can do, Alicia, at some time? You can just be like, hey, kids, no. All you eat is junk. So how about this week we just detox? Straight celery for everybody. They really are so good. I bet you those are good, though. I'm not going to lie. Those probably are good. Better get 100. Is it on your list? That's the question. Is she and is she getting the orange one because her color is orange? Because I'm sure they're not as good as the other ones. It's not on your list. Not on your list. Probably not that good. Oh, here we go, everybody. Here comes the poop corks. Look at the size of these bags that she, um, to this day, the one thing that like, baffles me as a Canadian are the sizes of the bags. Even if you go to Costco, we don't have bags of cheese that size. Not even. We don't, like, I, unless I missed it and I've never seen it because I would never, if it was, it would be like $30 for a bag of cheese that size. So it's very, like, you can go to like the restaurant places where you get the bulk restaurant stuff and they have that, but it's like $45. So much cheese. Thumbs. If your cheese makes a clunking sound, think twice. <laughs> Why do you need a brick of cheese when you just bought a bag of freaking cheese? Daily charcuterie board. Daily. Oh, I should just make shark boards. I forgot about that. These are in there really tight. That's what she said. Nobody eats your shark boards. Kids are home and like already gone for the day when you're you're in the middle of they get home and they're like your shit's not even there. It's supposed to be ready when they get home to, to eat the snack. You're just making a shark board so you can talk to people on the internet. And then you throw it in the garbage. Most of my kids prefer Jack. Oh my god, there's so much cheese. The cheese that she gets, she should be like approached by like the health health department. Hi, we noticed you buy 40 pounds of cheese a week. We're just a little concerned. Can you save some for anybody else? Okay, moving on. I gotta. Oh, here we go. Frozen's. Cart four. here. She always does that too. She's like, she's walking around and be like, Cart the. Stop, Alicia. Looks like you belong in a Harry Potter movie as the villain of something. I'm actually gonna get frozen first because I need to get turkeys and they're in this section. No, frozen last, but whatever. Do you. Do you, boo? How much was that? Ice cream. Ew. Now that I have a blender, I forgot to get the berries for the blender. No one's eating your smoothies either. Is there cheese in this? We had to get rid of it. It was going rotten. Okay. One bag? You guys told me to get the turkey cake now. Don't be dumb. Okay, so it's sold out. You don't need a turkey cake. We got turkey cake at home. Sweet. I can't wait for her what my kids ate today on Thanksgiving. It's going to be baller. Cake and there's kidding. We had some cake and then we had a turkey shaped cookie and then we had other cookies and then we had some, some real turkey, but not really. Holy shit, man. You can, here's the thing about Thanksgiving, right? You can do one turkey cake and then you can do something else, right? Apple pie. They don't need, what she's doing is like everybody wants one thing of each of the things I buy, but there's no possible way they could eat all that, right? 
I think she buys like something like 10 turkeys or something. You are serving other things, right? Like mashed potatoes and stuffing and all that. Like, why do you need that many turkey? You can do one big ass turkey and it will be enough for 20 people if that's what you're having at your house, right? That's enough. One or two slices, add some other shit. We got turkey cake later. Why are you buying so much shit? Dino, yeah, dino shaped. It's like she purposely puts the phone closer to the bag. Didn't you get a new camera for your birthday, Alicia? Why are you not using it? She said she puts chicken nuggets in lunches. No, she puts a shitty sandwich in lunches. Tants, get your tants. Get your tants, everybody. Oh, there's the big bag. It's like 12 pounds of french fries. Oh, holy shit, that's a big bag of tater tots. I, I, I'm so flabbergasted every time you see Americans like serving sizes, like the, the bags that you can get. You just don't get that here. Our biggest bag of tater tots is like this big. And it's probably the same price. I need to move to the States. Five pounds of tater tots. Five pounds of tater tots. Five pounds of French I should probably bake some in the oven. Get wrecked. Air fry that shit. Okay, we saw it already. Don't do a pan of it. They're frozen. I hope your turkey cakes get smushed. And then you bring Thanksgiving, they look like your eyebrows. All right, all right, all right. Oh, yeah, here we go. Here we go to turkeys. Shut up. You know what? I'm going to grab the sparkling juice now. The kids love this on Thanksgiving and, well, really any holiday. Mm, okay. We always had sparkling juice at our holiday events when I was growing up. So now well, it's a gateway, I guess, to White Claw. It's like a tradition I do with my kids. Enough. Here's a tradition your kids should probably break the chain. The eyeliner. You gotta stop. It's like she dips her eyes in coal and like... Pff, pff. It's like she puts glue around her eyes and then goes... Poo! With like dusted coal. Holy shit. Okay. Two. It's all you need. Save some for the rest of the people. Why does it have to be 14 pound turkeys? Down here. This is like one pound per person? Is that what she's saying? Because it's like not 14 pounds of edible meat, right? You got bones in there and you got like a whole shit ton of fillers. So a 14 pound turkey is probably going to yield maybe seven pounds of meat. That's 14. Okay, you're only getting one, right? You're only getting one. Oh my god, so no, she is getting. Why do you need three more? Has anybody here been to Thanksgiving and eaten more than one pound of turkey? More than one pound. Anybody? That's a lot of turkey. Like a, a pound. And you ate that, and then you ate other things? I mean, I guess my teenager could do it, I suppose. But like, no, you get a, like a small slice of turkey, the good one, with a little bit of the crusty edge, right? Get some stuffing, get some mashed potatoes, get some corn on there, get some green beans, put some, you know, put some cranberry sauce on there, put your gravy. That's like more than enough. So no, you, you, you have kids that are going to eat no turkey. All right, 13 and a half, 13 and a half is close enough. Okay, hey, it's close enough. She's literally buying around 56 pounds of turkey. Even if all the family's coming over, that's too much turkey. 56 pounds of turkey should probably feed about 200 people. I'm not even kidding you. And she's just gonna waste it. Oh my God. <laughs> how are you ever gonna make it? Would, how are you gonna make four, are you gonna, are you gonna hire an oven to come to your house? Does Kona truck have an oven they can use? 
There's no possible way you can cook this. Or I guess maybe you're gonna send it off to the aunts and uncles who are coming over. Bring the turkey with you. Maybe that's what she's gonna do. Maybe. Sausage. Man, I wish we had this shit in Canada. We don't get that stuff. If you have, to, if you want to make sausage stuff, you have to cut it out of the things. Breakfast this week. They did not like the sage one though. Cares. You'll eat it and you'll like it. Notice how she's like, oh, they won't like it. So what? How are all your kids not going to like it? Maybe one of them does. Man, did, I have another whistleblower uh, type video come out. A couple more people reached out to me. And the things I've learned. Oh, yeah. It's Jimmy Deans. Don't do any more. Get a get wrecked. What are you putting that on? What do you who eats that much sausage? Where's the uncrustables, man? The uncrustables are good. Not gonna lie. Like I want an uncrustable right now. I'm getting an uncrustable. There are a few people who have fears of the sound of eating and drinking, so I cut it out for them because I love you guys. Who always buys these ones? They literally look like poop. And she like microwaves them and then throws them down the gutter and then catches them at the end. Like here you go. Yeah, see, she's also doing ham. Oh, breakfast. $25 for that, American. Okay, it's taco night, okay? That's all you need. How many tacos are you making? Put a little less meat on it then. Something else I can't remember now, but I'm about to get two of them. What? She's been wanting to make chili, but we just haven't had all of the ingredients. So we actually ended up using this to make a meat. Josh doesn't make chili. Sauce this weekend. So we're going to make more of the meatloaf mix, which is beef. Well, you have meatloaf mix? Pork and veal mix. Damn you! Oh, we don't have that? So together, we get three pounds of it for chili. Damn. You guys have so much cool shit in the U.S. Okay, I got to fast forward, guys. I'm so. Oh, here we go. Let's check it out. I wonder if she makes them wait. Like, I wonder if she get the manager to say, look, I spent a lot of money in here. I'm going to pull these buggies up. You check it out. You know I'm going to pay because that's, you know me. You know, I got a gold or a black MasterCard or whatever. You start bagging that shit. By the time I get with my last cart, I'll unload it and I'm ready to go. But no, she wants to show you the, to do this. Look at how all I do it by myself. All right, it took 35 minutes to check out. Now I gotta drive over. 35 to check out. Load up the groceries and then I gotta head. She goes to Wegmans and never buys a sub. Have you? Like, they're good. Pick up the sub trays that Josh ordered for the bill scheme. From here? Because that's where you should get them. Why can't Josh go pick up the subs? Is his, are his legs broken? It is cold out. Why did you have a weird accent when you said that? Your thumbs are the stuff of nightmares Your thumbs are weird just like you Please stop showing your ugly ass thumbs But if you have similar thumbs I think they're cute Cause you're not her Thumbs Make the Uncrustable better Is if they had Kraft Green Lid Peanut Butter in it 
I got one of these sparkling waters. I'm gonna check it out. Okay. No one cares. I'm super thirsty. I only had to get the canned ones, but this kind's really good. I'm in my car in the Gideon. Okay, your sweater's ugly. Look, I know. <laughs> I know ugly sweaters because look what I'm wearing. Bagman's is packed. So why are you going to film there? Like crazy. I don't really know why. Payakata? Thanksgiving's okay. not this week. The Bills play, maybe that's why. No, if, no. The bills suck. Okay. Ninth place. Groceries are loaded <clears throat> in, and I'm waiting for them to bring out the sub platters. Oh, so it is. Okay, good. Then I'll I'll be with you on that. Josh ordered. There's the sub platters. Them shits too. Those sub platters are like fifty dollars a piece. Update on winter sports. No one cares. I found a basketball team for the twins. That was. What are you doing? Ridiculously hard. Why? It's too late. We saw the raw. Too late. For some reason. So sure. she's vlogging, which by the way is distracted driving. Putting on lipstick, also distracted driving. But Alicia doesn't have to worry. Did you know that her brother-in-law is not just a cop, but he's like an elected official? Like he's got power. If she were to be pulled over for say, getting in an accident, maybe a DUI or something like that, just saying it, possibly could have happened maybe. All she has to do is invoke this guy's name that's how powerful her brother-in-law is. I kid you not. Just doing a little research. Just what I'm saying. Just saying. First one I signed him up for didn't decide to run the league. And the second... Yeah, I don't care. Let's skip. Subs will definitely be coming back for more as the Bills play. So that's the only thing they ate was this, the awesome subs. <laughs> there. There, I believe you ate that. That's for sure. And the kids brought everything in, so now... Okay. Why don't you get the kids to put it away, too? It's really easy. Just label some shit. Don't put it away. Do you own any other pair of jeans? By chance? Would you like me to send you some? Would you like some more jeans? Just any other jeans. Any other jeans. Looks like you're wearing white leotards underneath. Nice sweater. I'm kidding. It's not a nice sweater. It's the same one with the distressed ass. No way she can eat that many onions. Like, sort it by... Okay, like, go. there's no way. Onions are not like you eat an onion. Like, you put two onions in a meal, maybe, that you're cooking. There's like 400 onions. I'm gonna bring inside, go somewhere. The freezer stuff gets put away first. Maybe your socks are nasty. No wonder why their socks are nasty. because she's walking in a garage where her kids take off their boots and shit like that after school. If they do. I don't know if they do. And then she's walking with it. Like, the, could you imagine? Ooh. Oh my god, just put fast forward it speedily. You're a little crooked there. Yeah, you're a little crooked there. Oh god, she, I you know what pisses me off the most about this is that she's like, look at all the you have literally 14 people in your house and you can't get anybody to help you? Everybody's just sitting around? You're raising real great kids who are never going to be able to take care of themselves at all. They're going to get into relationships and friendships where they're going to feel like entitled to everything and not want to help with anything. If you raise your child like this, I blame you for the collapse of our future society. Raise your children to work hard, to be helpful, to always ask if you could use their help. Be generous with their time and everything else. They just all sit, they all sit in there like, oh, we're eating Wegman subs and watching TV while mom does everything. Alicia, it doesn't make you a good parent to do that. It actually is the opposite. Ew. Oh my god. She's gonna throw that shit in the garbage. Yeah, no one's gonna eat that shit. They're gonna throw it in the garbage. Garbage. Garbage, garbage. Oh my god, who's watching this? Shame on you. Better not hope there's an apocalypse happening soon because your house will be targeted first. People would be like, Docker does have so much shit. Let's go rob their house. Oh, 
What is that big ass pile of meat there that's going rotten? Maybe you didn't have to buy 56 pounds of turkey. Just, just throwing it out there. I bought the turkeys. I forgot to buy turkey sandwich meat. Oh no. <laughs> you had a list, dumbass. Oh, here we go. Uncrustables. Okay, we see Uncrustables. We don't need to see your crusty ass, though. Okay? Different. No, they don't. You need some rest and some water. ASAP. A little sunlight. Maybe some vitamins. Maybe some, some serene yoga. Okay, I am pretty much done. I did a good chunk of putting groceries away in order. Maybe you shouldn't leave like open boxes of food in your garage where mice could get it. Just say it. I don't know. Could be wrong. Thank you for spending the day with me. You are strong. You are beautiful. You are loved. You belong. And I am so proud of you. I'll see you next time. No. No, you're not. Also, do not spend any time with your kids. Maybe you should do that. Everybody take a deep ass breath. The snark was fire, right? A couple of songs in there, a little conversations. Good, we're getting back to it. I'm excited. 12 Days Doherty doesn't coming in December. I have a plan, okay? We're gonna do the 12 Days of Doherty, and every day we're gonna do a different Christmas song, but it's gonna be a parody of her. It's gonna be fun. And we're gonna snark on a video here and there. So if you got a video you'd like me to snark on, you let me know, because you know there's gonna be some videos leading up to Christmas that we're gonna be snarking on. I'm very, very excited. The amount, how much money she's gonna spend on Christmas. Watch this year, she's like, I only spent $6. Like, how amazing I am. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I do have another whistleblower video coming out pretty soon, hopefully, um, and some other news. Hopefully, we'll talk to you soon as soon as I can tell you those things. Uh, get ready. It's going to be fire. Don't forget how amazing and incredible and valuable you are. People need you here, you know? I hope you get what you need this Christmas season. Make sure you love your kids, protect your kids. Don't fly flare. I don't care how cheap it is. And I'll see you tomorrow.